gospel guitarist here and now we're going to get to the nitty gritty the drilling marked out where I'm going to put them and I double checked where they're going and just make double checking making sure none of the installed wiring is gonna be in the way there seems everything is clear so very carefully doesn't take much thin top the other one And that should do it. Now what I usually do is uh, take the uh, nuts off and just kind of stick the switch into the hole. You have to excuse my sniffling nose. And then I see how snug they're going to go in, you know making sure that they'll fit and these are a little too tight so I'm going to open them up just a little more before I remove the tape and that should be good Yep, that'll do it. And, as you can see there, there's my two holes. Ready for installation of my switches. Okay, and now I'm going to complete the switch install in this video. And uh, in the book, it gives you the color codes for the two switches so that when your up is up and your down is down on the guitar um, for the switch that's switching your program up and down. I mean, why would you want to pull up if you want the program to go down, right? So you want to get the switch oriented the right way. And for me, it's just yellow is down. So I want the yellow wire facing the bottom of the guitar when I install it so the yellow wire will be so the yellow wire will be on the bottom when I install the switch that way when I flip it down it's going to mean down so I'm just going to feed this through here the wire will just be loose the uh, the board's going to be mounted in the center of the guitar kind of uh, underneath this pickup actually <laughs> if there's room and I won't have to move it so but to begin with I'm going to go ahead and install the switch and there's two nuts for each switch so you can adjust how much of the switch jack is sticking above so that you can adjust them and get them nice and flush Okay, come on up. There we go. I have a burr from where I had cut off. They have these little tabs, and I don't like the tabs. And I don't like these being on the top because they don't look as good. So I put these on the bottom and I use these on the outside of the guitar. 
I need to file that off, so I'll be right back. Okay. later. So that's one switch. Now the next switch is for the switching between the actual MIDI switch. If I switch towards the red wire, it means the MIDI is being used. I switch towards the blue wire, it means that whatever this other switch on the guitar is set to, like if it's set to the acoustic, then I'll get the acoustic sound. So the two switches are going to be working together. And when I go in the middle, it just uses everything. MIDI, my acoustic sound, and then if I have this one set in the middle, then I get my MIDI, acoustic, and electric it sounds all at the same time. Okay, that's a rough install of the switches. They still need to be tightened up and I'll feed the wires inside uh, when I'm ready to hook them up. Well, as you can see, I've removed the uh, magnetic tone control. It's inside of the guitar right now. I'll decide whether I totally desolder it and remove it or just tuck it away in case I want to revert the guitar back, but I really don't think that's going to happen. So now i got to install the volume control in its place. As you can see, these are like mini pots. So again, small switches and small volume controls. You can squeeze a lot of switches in a small space. This looks a little bit high. So I'm going to take it back out. and adjust the nut right here so that I can have less thread coming up through the body because if you have a lot of thread sticking up then that means the whole knob's going to be up in the air I want it as close to the body as possible like to match these but you don't want to limit yourself too much because you need room to get the nut and everything on the washer and the nut so wow happened easily twice I really thought that was going to be a problem. <laughs> Always use your closed-end wrench. Which gets a little dicey. But that'll complete the install for volume control of the MIDI system. So now put the knob back on. Try to get the number 10 lined up with the arrow and it worked just fine. So so far that's what I have in the build. Looks good so far. Now for the hard part. Got to put the switch in, or the 13 pin jack in. Stay tuned.